Hello and welcome to this video on how to buy a new car as a student. If you're a student, you may be wondering how you can afford to buy a new car when you have limited income and possibly a lot of debt from student loans. But don't worry, it is possible to buy a new car as a student, and in this video, we'll go over some tips and strategies to make the process a little easier. Step 1. Determine your budget. The first step in buying a new car as a student is to determine your budget. This is important because it will help you narrow down your options and ensure that you don't overextend yourself financially. When determining your budget, consider your income, any debts you have, including student loans, and your monthly expenses. You'll want to make sure you have enough money left over each month to cover the cost of owning a car, including the car payment, insurance, gas, and maintenance. Step 2. Research your options. Once you have a budget in mind, it's time to start researching your options. Start by looking at cars that are within your price range and consider factors such as fuel efficiency, reliability, and safety ratings. You may also want to consider buying a used car, as these can be less expensive than new cars and may come with a warranty. Step 3. Get pre-approved for a car loan. Before you start shopping for a car, it's a good idea to get pre-approved for a car loan. This will give you an idea of how much you can borrow and at what interest rate, which can help you make a more informed decision when it comes to choosing a car. You can get pre-approved for a car loan through your bank or credit union, or you can use an online lender. Just be sure to shop around and compare rates to get the best deal. Step 4. Negotiate the price. Once you've found a car that you like, it's time to negotiate the price. Don't be afraid to negotiate, it's expected and it can save you a lot of money. When negotiating, be sure to do your research and know what the fair market value of the car is. You can use websites like Kelly Blue Book or Edmunds to get a sense of what the car is worth. Step 5. Financing Options. If you're unable to get a car loan or you don't want to take on debt, there are other financing options to consider. One option is to lease a car, which can be less expensive than buying a car outright. Another option is to save up and pay cash for the car. This may take longer but it can save you money in the long run because you won't have to pay interest on a loan. Step 6. Insurance and Maintenance. Finally, don't forget to budget for insurance and maintenance. Car insurance is required by law, and the cost can vary depending on your age, driving record, and the type of car you drive. Make sure to shop around and compare quotes to get the best deal. Maintenance costs, such as oil changes and tire rotations, will also be an ongoing expense. Make sure to factor these costs into your budget when deciding how much you can afford to spend on a car. Conclusion. Buying a new car as a student can be a daunting task, but it is possible. By following these steps and doing your research, you can find a car that fits your budget and meets your needs. Just be sure to budget.